To drive on the eroding Millennium Highway, it would mean tediously dodging potholes the size of sinkholes for miles. Yesterday, the EMS department reintroduced the same approach previously used to repair the road by patching it, this time with quarry. Working was an eight-man team with three truckloads of quarry to fill in the gaps. But with the Atlantic hurricane season bringing hammering rain, even the workers have to admit that the solution is temporary. Palmer said funds are low and this approach will have to make do. But perhaps a more semi-permanent solution would be better. He suggested excavating the roadway and paving down quarry, among others. Well, right now we're working for EMS and uh, we are repairing the, the road here. Um, we are repairing with the, with the best we got, which is only curry, you know what I'm saying? But it's not going to last because when it rains, it comes right up, but then um, this is what we got. So we'll Palmer said funds are low and this approach will have to make do, but perhaps a more semi-permanent solution would be better. He suggested excavating the roadway and paving down quarry, among others. I would recommend um, some hard ash fill, or even you could just use some cement and um, mix the curry in the cement and that will last for a while, but hard ash fill will be the best. How far up are you guys going? Are well, you filling in all the problems? We intend to do from straight from that corner back, just the whole thing. Okay, you know and how I mean? long do you think this is going to take? Well, maybe a couple of, uh, about two, three weeks, probably less. Officials from the Ministry of Housing, Works and Utilities in a press statement encouraged motorists to exercise care while driving on what they described as the ragged road of Millennium Highway or any similar road. For years now, Blue Hills residents have been demanding a new road to no avail. For WIV4 News, I'm Nakira John.